Hey folks, all right, a few weeks ago I said I'm gonna do this new series where I'm gonna answer your questions about NativeScript. And uh, on Twitter, Gokul Manan asked me, how do I get a URL from a web view in a NativeScript Angular app? The NativeScript documentation shows plenty of examples of how to do this with NativeScript Core, but let's take a look at how to do this in Angular. It's pretty simple. Here I've just created a new NativeScript Angular application. This is my root app component. All it has in it is just a simple template with a web view in it. And I'm loading up this URL right here, https and nativescripting.com. And there's the result. So this is a web view, it's taking up the full screen. That's the only thing in that component. I can click around in here, take a look at posts. Basically, it's just like reading the website. Okay, so how do we know when a new URL was loaded? We want some kind of notification. The first thing we want to do is add an identifier into this web view into the markup. So I'm going to call it my web view and we want to grab a hold of this web view in our code. The way to do that in Angular is by using ViewChild. So we're going to get ViewChild and we're going to import ViewChild from Angular Core right up here. And we need to specify this identifier in here as a string. So we're passing in that identifier into the ViewChild decorator. And I'm going to call this property my web view ref because it's of type element ref, which I'm also going to import right here from Angular Core. Once we're in the ng on init lifecycle hook, I can call my web view ref and then native element, which will get us that native script element. And that's going to be the web view itself. If I hover my mouse over this web view, you'll see that it's of type any. So you could keep using that if you know the API, but if you don't know the API, you can cast this to a web view and we can import that from NativeScript. And that's coming from the NativeScript modules, which is TNS core modules, UI, web view. And now if you hover your mouse over web view, you can see that it's of web view type, which means we're gonna get IntelliSense on it. And here's all the properties and all the methods that we can call on web view. So web view happens to be a descendant of the observable type, which means it has an on method. We can respond to events. And if I type on, you'll see in the hint here, we even have something called event load finished as an example. So I can put in a string here, load finished, or I can use the enum that comes with web view. And there's that load finished event. The second parameter is the callback. So here, whatever happens in the body of this function is going to respond to load finished event. By the way, there's also a load start event if you want to catch URLs before they are loaded. Okay, so load finished event, let's get an args in here. The parameter type that we're gonna get is called load event data. You can see that that's coming from the web view module as well. Load event data has the URL on it right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and console log loaded URL message and append the actual string that's coming back to us. Let's try this out. I'm gonna save everything and our app is gonna reload because we're live syncing. Okay, so the website is loaded. I'm gonna pull up my console so we can watch. And we already have an event here, loaded URL. And there's that base URL that we've already loaded. I'm gonna go ahead and press a button here. So these are the courses available on nativescripting.com. I'm gonna go ahead and press this learn more on this NativeScript view introduction course. And it loads that detail page. Here is the next line, loaded URL is the nativescript.com course, NativeScript View Introduction. So we got that printed out. Okay, so that's pretty simple. That's how you get a hold of the loaded URLs in the web view component in NativeScript Angular. Go cool, thanks for asking this question. I'll send you over some stuff in the mail. And if all you like videos like this one where I give you little tips and tricks about NativeScript, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn more about NativeScript UI and about the web view and about the HTML view and other widgets in NativeScript, there's a NativeScript UI hands-on course on nativescripting.com. And if you have some questions for me to answer about NativeScript, go ahead, send them to me via Twitter. I'll answer them here if I think it's a piece of knowledge that anybody can benefit from. I'm at Digitalix on Twitter. All right, till next time.